All right, so Carl, we just finished uh, shooting the, the match. You are using your reproduction 1866 uh, Henry rifle, or Winchester rifle there. So I think we learned quite a bit actually running this. Uh, absolutely we did. Now you said Henry, and there's a good reason to say that it's the exact same action as the Henry. The only thing that changed is the King's loading gate pattern, which allowed you to load from the rear as opposed to the front. And of course it's a carbine shorter, which means it has lower capacity, but it's a little bit more handy. Now, what's interesting is at this match, some of the times we say the match can pull some things out of the guns that are representative of real life, and today is no exception. Um, stage one was a 50 yard stage, but we were shooting mini uh, IDPA plates, were essentially like IPSC plates, which size of pretty much a headshot at 50 yards. And if you look at the sights that I have on here, which is a common field modification of the time, they're buckhorn sights. They're really express sights. They're designed for quick engagement at close range. It's very hard to get precision out of them. It's possible, but it's hard. It was really, this was really the, um, the combat assault rifle of its day, right? To use that term loosely. So uh, when we get to those little mini plates out there and I have to hit them however many X amount of times, it was a challenge. The first couple times or, or iterations through, I was not getting my hits. I had to reload twice. Stage score there was terrible uh, until I kind of figured it out for the last two positions. But what this does represent was exactly what happened uh, at the, the Battle of Little Bighorn or the Battle of the Greasy Grass Creek, which is why we're shooting this today, being the anniversary, 138th anniversary. Um, the long range, not so good. Once I got into range, which you would see when you watch stages two, three and four, although four it simulates a hand injury, this gun comes into its own, and uh, imagine this against someone with a single shot trapdoor carbine, and you understand that why, once the enemy got into range with this rifle, they had absolutely dominant firepower capability. We should point out that some of the, the archaeological studies done in the 80s show that there were quite a lot of these, both these rifles and the earlier Henrys, present with the Indian forces. Exactly. Initially, they discussed, the, the, the idea was that the Indians had a small subset of rifles and a lot of bows. But upon the archaeological evidence, they come to find out that, no, the, the Indians were well, I should say the Sioux, etc., were well armed with, uh, with Henrys and 1866 Winchesters. And the amount of firepower they could bring to bear once they got in range turned out to be far more overwhelming than we realized. So this would be representative of one of the ones that the, uh, that the natives would have used. Uh, what I would have called with a captured sling. This is a authentic reproduction <laughs> of a cavalry sling of the time used on the, uh, the Springfield trapdoor, but also for any saddle ring carbine. Ironically, get this. It was the single point sling of its day. Not that different than what we would see today. It does slide back and forth. You can see that strong arm or even support side shooting with this is perfectly fine. And if you need to get it off the sling, it's a simple quick release buckle. Way ahead of its time. Now, there is an account of at least one cavalryman at Little Bighorn who was pulled from his horse via this sling and was subsequently, of course, uh, killed. Uh, I believe in the archeological dig, they found the sling swivel in the dirt. Uh, everything that they've done has vindicated the native side of the story more so than they would have expected. This is a reproduction, the original shot from before Henry Rimfire, which had two firing pins for a double strike. I am shooting 45 Colt today strictly for ease of use, uh, just because it's a lot easier for this match. But I do also load a simulant of 44 Henry in black powder that are smaller cartridges that we call specials with a different loading lifting, loading, loading lifter, excuse me, a lifter, and um, I get the actual real capacity out of the gun. I just didn't do that today because it was too much to go on with. But um, if you look at stage one and the rest of the stages, this really did bring out the reality. If you look into Bighorn or Greasy Grass, um, the stage does reflect the values and detriments of this rifle. Awesome. Well, cool. I appreciate you bringing that out to shoot. I think it was a lot of fun to watch and very interesting. Not competitive, but interesting and, and an educational experience. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Yeah, well, we'll uh, take a look at the the scores and see how you did overall even though yeah you're not probably stage one was not my best time but you know what uh coming out to shoot this match with a gun like this isn't about ego it's about learning and we learned a lot today awesome thank you thank you old timey man an hour ago the command to load and make ready was issued <laughs> <laughs> Show you, buddy, I'm not yet. Shooter ready? Yeah. Stand by.
Well, well, it's hard to tell. See you're a little low. Not him, him. Hip. Had a. Hip. That was Out. Last one. Last one? Last one. Hit. Good job. You're a little low. Nice job. I have ammo already supplied. You might need it. See what happened right there? Yep. Hit! 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 You got it. Nice job. Nice job. Very good. You are there. Now you're clear. Good job. Actually, your time was pretty damn decent for what you went. That was hard. I was Stand by. Cavalry is still reloading their first shot. That's alright, he's got some shit on this. Nice job. Just need three more hits. You're doing good. I thought it was going to be for your phone. All right. And yeah, when I was at one of them and I was at that. You're going to hear a second buzzer, just keep on shooting. Yep. All right. Shoot it ready. Yep. Bye. Yeah. It's gonna suck. All right, shooter ready? I'm ready for suck. I, I hope you understand the course prior since I do. So, all right, shooter's ready. Stand by.
think that's it.